You want to get to create mod in Minecraft, let's go ahead and do it. First things first, go to the second link down below. That will take you here. This is the official create download page on CurseForge where you want to go to files and then find the version that you want. We're going to be going with the most recent version, which is this NeoForge 1.21 version here, but this will work for other versions as well. Click the three dots next to this version and click download file and the download will begin after a few seconds. As you can see here, you will need to keep or save the file. We'll also need to download NeoForge. NeoForge is the mod loader that is required for create to work in game. It basically links Minecraft to the create mod. This is of course linked down below. Scroll down, click download NeoForge. Takes you to here where you want to go ahead and make sure you've selected the right version, which in our case is actually going to be 1.21.1, and then click here to download the installer. That will then open up where we need to save the file and the download will begin. While NeoForge is downloading, have a quick message from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server where you can easily add the Create mod and enjoy the Create mod with your friends. You can also add other mods and one-click install hundreds of mod packs. There's even expert live chat support there to help you along the way, so check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and in our downloads folder, we will have NeoForge and the Create mod. We're going to start off with NeoForge. Now, you can go ahead and right-click on this, click on Open With, and then click Java. And for whatever reason, you don't have Java here, by the way, you need to get it from the description down below. In-depth guide, basically just go here, click Download, and then you want to go to the Windows version and download this installer and install Java. You may also need to run the jar fix after that. That's going to link all the jar files on your computer back to Java, making them work together. But first, you'll need to get Java if you don't have it. However, we do have it, so we can right-click on this, click Open With and Java, and it will open up NeoForge. Luckily, it's super easy to install. Just click Install Client, click Proceed, and you're done. Now, everything is going to install. The only reason it wouldn't is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Both need to be closed. You also need to have played Minecraft 1.21.1 before. Sometimes with this, that could cause some issues. So just go open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and you're good to go. But as you can see, everything is successful here. We can click OK. It will close out of that, and we can delete the NeoForge installer. Now it's time to install Create. Now I'm going to move Create to the desktop just because it's going to be easier to manage things while it's on the desktop. And then we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now don't play Minecraft just yet. Just go to installations up here at the top and you will have this NeoForge installation. Hover over it and click the folder icon that appears. This will open your Minecraft folder. In here you should have a mods folder, but if for whatever reason you don't, you can just go ahead and create a brand new mods folder. Now open this mods folder and drag and drop the create mod from your desktop into the mods folder right like so. It's that easy and now if we close out of this and play Minecraft using NeoForge, you will always need to play using NeoForge by the way to play with create. We can click play again because we're playing modded Minecraft. We had to confirm by clicking play twice there. And now NeoForge will open up with the create mod installed. Here we are in game. The first indication creates installed is this little button right here. We click on that. We can see create is set up. You can go in and configure it, the client settings, world generation settings, all the different stuff that you can change here. However, we can also go in game. I'm going to make a new world just because I want to make sure that this mod has all the control at once. And we can do create mod here. And we can go into creative just to make things easier. And we can go ahead and find the create mod here. As you can see, we have create building blocks. We also have the create different parts and things like that for building different stuff. Pretty cool, and uh, honestly, one of the cooler things about the Create Mod is the fact that there is so much different stuff that you can do with it. I mean, look at the copper ladders, even. That's really cool. So, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if it helped you out. We will see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.